Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Ravi, and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to add this fading text effect in a very simple way. So, to start off, I already have a video in my sequence, and I'll be adding a title or a text onto the top of my video. To do that, I'll click on this T button here so that I'll enable the type tool and I'll type in some text. I'll type in intro. All right. And let me just bring this down. And to add the fade effect, go to the effects panel and type in dissolve. So have this cross dissolve effect in the dissolve folder of the video transitions and drag this onto your text layer like this. So if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the intro slowly fades into our scene. All right. And if you want to increase the duration of the fade, click on the transition here and drag this to the right so that, you know, the duration gets increased. You can also add the cross dissolve effect at the end as well so that it looks as if it is fading out. So drag this onto the end portion of our text layer. So if I start playing the video, you can see that the intro slowly fades in like this and at the end it would fade out like this. Another simple thing that you can do is let me delete this and you can go to the effects panel and select a dissolve here. In this case, I'm selecting the cross dissolve and I'll right click on this and click on set selected as default transition. And now I'll simply hit on the intro that I have the text layer here and I'll hold control on my keyboard and hit D so that the cross dissolve effect will get added at the end and the beginning something like this and you can simply increase or you know play with the duration here or you can also simply delete this in case if you don't want the intro to fade out at the end. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on instagram at vfxguyravi. See you guys next time with another tutorial.